Yes, we are here on Frost, one of the larger maps we have in the bottom right. We have the red Protoss from Team Fnatic. He's Ignite, he's up 1-1 against his green Zerg opponent from Team Esports Club Visualize in the bottom left. He's Rain Man. So this map, uh, yeah, once again, it seems to suit Stargate play. Funnily enough, we've seen Ignite do a very similar opening two times in a row now. Uh, he didn't go for a cannon rush in the first, in the second game because the distance is just you know too much for that. Uh, but he was kind of toying with the idea. He still get, went with the Forge expand into a Stargate with only one unit coming out of it into well, a gateway alien of some sorts. And uh, I wonder if he has more tricks uh, up his sleeve like that. I hope he does, to be honest, because that always makes for a lot more fun. Uh, just checking to see where these guys are going to go. Quick, nice early scout going down here from Ignite, actually getting quite lucky there. Sees precisely what's going on. Uh, behind this, not doing anything crazy. Could very well be a Nexus first opening, uh, since he hasn't seen the early hatchery. Yeah, Ignite uh, getting well, quite lucky with his scout, uh, I have to admit. And this is always so annoying as a Zerg that you have a probe in your base, which may or may not be building a proxy pylon, or may or may not be adjusting uh, you know, his tech to your... Uh, to your own tech. Um, of course, Rayman being smart goes for the pool first, just wants to be safe in the previous games, doesn't want to get cannon rushed, uh, because as we've seen, Ignite uh, does seem more than keen to do so, and he's now going to be blocking this hatch. And this is always frustrating. Having your hatch blocked is never something that you really want to happen. Again, it's not crazy, but it's irritating. A second drone will get pulled, but hatch goes down. Nicely done. No sign of any proxy pylons either, so that's going to be quite... A reassurance for Rainman. There's something I really want to point out, which just happened. Uh, Rainman was actually micro his drone to intercept the the, the, uh, the probe which was on patrol. That's something that I love to see because Rainman yeah, clearly has a really good read on what his opponent's doing, and it's so typical for Protoss when they're blocking, you know, those hatches to put those probes on patrol in a hexagonic shape. In this case, it was actually pentagonic, but. Uh, that doesn't really matter in this case. And he kept microing the drone in a way so he could keep in uh, intercepting uh, the probe all the time and just get the maximum uh, amount of damage off. And well, it kind of paid off because he got that hatch down uh, at a very nice time. So all in all, this is now a very normal position to be in, in terms of the early game. They both got the main things they want. We've got Rain Man with his third hatch up now. That came actually down at around 3 minutes 50, so a good timing uh, up against this Nexus first opening. Also, just sitting here with the gateway coming down, the cannon already in position, ready to defend against these two little lings, trying to sneak on by. Neither player kind of diverging from where they'd want to be. No, so far both players are actually in, uh, in really good shape, I feel. Uh, Rayman gets to play his drone game, Ignite gets to make a lot of probes and feel safe uh, for at least the coming few minutes. Um, he is getting a Cybernetic score only just now because of the, well, of course, the early Forge play. So I do anticipate uh, him to be making his choice in terms of tech uh, once again. I really think that Rayman um, this time does know how he wants to respond to his opponent's tech. I, it would be really predictable if Ignite to go for once again a Stargate and only make a single Oracle and you know just try to do some damage with it. Um, for Rayman though, the thing is he's only got one Overlord which is only now moving into position. <laughs> Uh, for a scout, so him actually scouting the main tech of Ignite seems unlikely. Uh, who's getting a Stargate, by the way? Now, this Stargate has been used in Game 1 and Game 2. Game number 1, it was with the Phoenix. Game number 2, it was with the Oracle. If I had to put my money down, I'd put it on Phoenix this game. And the reason being is because Waystation is a great map for Oracles and just air units in general because of the amount of dead space. Frost isn't quite as good in that dead space so I would expect to see the Phoenix but then we do have a near identical build to game two with that plus one coming through. I really want, want Rayman to learn from his previous two games and anticipate this kind of uh, attack out of Ignite. So far Ignite hasn't actually started producing anything out of his Stargate but uh, the, the close positions actually makes, makes it very very likely for him to be making an Oracle and there we go Oracle being chrono boosted out of the Stargate at waypointed directly to his opponent's base and uh, you know I really think Rain Rayman should be able to identify this but I'm afraid it's not going to be until it's oh actually this overlord isn't going to spot it he does spot the, the oh he does spot the stargate and immediately 
as I said, oh, okay, he's not making spores. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> no, he's not making spores. Okay, he's gonna regret that, I think. Still, he's so that this is coming. He's adding in the lair now, but he does have the roach one. This is down a lot earlier than it was in game number two, so it's basically the same play, an identical play to game number two that ignite one with, but. Great man, he's in a different situation. This Rotoron really does make a big difference. Okay. Well, here comes the Oracle, actually. Uh, Queen goes to town on it immediately, and actually, uh, it spots the... Yeah, the Spore does go down, and the drones run away as fast as they can. There's a second Queen in the natural, which should be pulled here in order to defend, but uh, that is not the case, and the Oracle only gets five kills, so the defense in this situation was actually a lot better than, uh, by Rayman than in the previous game. So... Only five kills, as you said, not really paying for itself. The Oracle didn't die, though, so all while it's alive, there is still the potential that it can make itself worthwhile, but for the moment, Rayman looking in a good spot. He's pumping a lot of units, only adding in two more drones. Doesn't yet know about the gateway warpins, uh, nor has he actually scouted any of these gateways to be coming. Oh. He's, He's moving, moving out. units across the map. Oh, I don't think that's the correct way, uh, or at least the correct move. He spots that there is no third. And I think he should... Yeah, okay, now he sees it because the Protoss army is actually moving right on top of Creep. Uh, there's actually a lot of links here. Uh, and not that many zealots, so a good surround here. can actually do quite a bit of damage. Uh, more, most of the links now coming in, as well as the Roaches, should be able to deal with this. The art upgrades are actually really good for Ignite, though. The Roaches get caught, and Ignite is actually right on top of this. This is doing a good amount of damage. All the links uh, now dead drones being forced to pull. The Stalkers getting out some good damage, but it's the Zealots being alive that are tanking up against those drones, doing so much damage. The Roach count not that high. This is looking really good for Ignite now, Wyman. This is looking really good for him. Roaches are coming in from every direction here by Rayman in order to defend. However, he once again got caught with his pants down, out of position, uh, unaware of what his opponent's plan was. And he seems to be paying for it. Now the attack is being focused towards the third of, uh, of Rayman, who's doing everything he can to hold off uh, this attack, but the reinforcements only streaming in uh, one by one, whereas the efficiency of the Protoss army really cannot be denied here, and Rayman now losing all of the drones at his third base is not looking too good. Rayman just didn't have the units out in time to deal with this, and while Ignite hasn't won the game yet, he's got his Oracle coming back in now, going to be getting some more damage down with that, and... It's a big damage dealer. It really helps against all of this. Needs to be a bit careful of the spore though. Third base still up, but the drone count starting to plummet. Honestly, losing his Oracle here is the least of Ignite's worries. He's piling up the pressure at the third. More cell is being warped in, and GG. Rayman is unfortunately for him eliminated, and Ignite will go up to face gold.